guys just wow this is impressive well guys i've been running the miui 12 based rom mi miui rc6 by a really kind guy raj57 on telegram or raj53 i think but anyway uh the fluidity of this rom is just next level it's the smoothest miui 12 rom i've ever uh, run like the stutters are um minimal because he has modified the launcher but anyway do watch this uh, video in 60 fps because why not that will be that way you would be able to experience the smoothness i'm talking about so let's get started So guys, uh, before we start, uh, I mean, uh, let me just show you that I'm running the MiMiUI 12, and as you can see, uh, this is it. He's added a good logo there, and he's also changed the boot screen, which, as you can see, looks something like this. And uh, yeah, uh, uh, let's go on to some features. I'm not sure if this is a MiUI 12 feature, but I found a really cool feature here. It's called Sound Assistant, and whenever you're playing some media, it uh, pops up another bubble here, which you can. Um, so you know multiple sounds at the same app, same time from different apps and that's a really cool feature but um, uh, other than that he has uh, smoothened out the launcher as I said and to do that he changed the launcher and modified a few things so it is not the same launcher as EU it only has uh, the 4 by 6 and 5 by 6 layout options but other than that it's pretty much the same but you can't like double tap to uh, turn off the screen so anyway, I want to do the super fast app opening, uh, app opening uh, test. It's not like um, like uh, how long that app stay, but just like for the smoothness. So let's close everything firstly, and I'm gonna do a few apps. So let's go YouTube and messaging and uh, Play Store, and uh, let's just not go there because why not? And let's go here, and uh, as you can see, uh, now I'm gonna open them super fast. So let's see. This I've been able to do on AOSP too, but obviously AOSP is still a smoother, like it feels 60 FPS. This is just stutter free and it's the best MIUI experience I've had so far. But anyway, um, yeah. By the way, guys, as you might have noticed, some really cool uh, unlocking animations that I have put. And he has uh, put four of them. So as you can see, this is, this is uh, one of them. And uh, here, as you can see, the, 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 the animation is still the same. But once you actually change them, they are actually different. So as you can see, this is the other one we find in AOSP ROMs too. But, uh, and this is the McLaren Edition OnePlus 7 Pro or 7T Pro. And, uh, and uh, yeah, so these are the four animations. But uh, yeah, I like this one the most. Okay, so if you've noticed that I'm running the OnePlus 8 Pro Live Wallpaper and they work really, really well. So in order to install them, uh, it's just a quick, uh, you just need to download the zip in the description and flash it with Magisk. And this is just gonna add the wallpapers, then just download the wallpapers app from Google Play Store. And then these are the four. And you can choose whatever you want to, but uh, yeah, it's not the video. Also, one more change I noticed was uh, from here, he has removed the steps thingy. But I don't know why, but it doesn't really matter. I don't use it. But as you can see, uh, other than that, it's, this ROM is, is no issues. Uh, whatever you can use it as daily driver, no issues. Battery life, I haven't been able to test it yet. Seems okay, just MIUI average. Nothing so special, you can change the kernel if you want to, but I recommend Stinker's talk because uh, that's where I got the fluidity. I didn't try changing it. Also guys, he has changed the battery icon back to MIUI 11 because he likes it. You can change it back, uh, hit me up on Telegram if you want to do that. But anyway, he's also changed the Volti icon. As you can see, he has put the Asus one, like that's on Asus phones. But uh, yeah, the flashing process is pretty simple. If you're encrypted, you will need to wipe internal storage. If you're not encrypted, you can just flash the ROM 
flash uh, DFE right after. Obviously, you need to wipe wipe Delvix system cache and data before you flash any ROM. But anyway, uh, that's been it for this video. I'm making gonna make a soon. Uh, I'm gonna make a video soon called about the about the Masic um, ROM, which just came out like a couple of hours ago. But uh, yeah, uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please subscribe for more content. But that's been it for this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, this was Alan from Tech Boss. Signing off.